<laughs> Refund? What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing really. Except that we have a broken and buggy game that we call Fallout 76. Hey, what's up, E6Bs? Valiwa here. And yeah, there is actually a class action lawsuit going on against Bethesda. And the reason is, well, people are trying to get a refund for Fallout 76. And initially, Bethesda say, yeah, sure. But then as the process went on, uh, but does that change their mind and yeah, you know, they're like, oh no, we can't give you refunds and people are kind of mad about that because, well, they want to refund a product that is not as promised and it's buggy and they kind of say it's unplayable. Now, I don't know if you guys agree it's uh, if it's unplayable or not, but for me, I think it's a little bit frustrating. There's like tons of bugs and yeah, what do you guys think? Is the game play uh, unplayable or playable? But yeah, I I'll go into detail what kind of like experience that I have when playing Fallout 6 every day. So the reason why people want a refund is because this game is filled with bugs and glitches that make it kind of very frustrating for people to play. Uh, we have both game breaking bugs and also we have countless kind of small bugs that kind of get in the way and they kind of get turned into one big mass of uh, kind of uh, you know you want to smash your face in with a big giant rock or something. So yeah, uh, the other day I was kind of I was kind of streaming, and we encountered five annoying bugs and glitches within kind of like an hour. And for example, for example, we kind of went to a high level area on the bottom right hand of the map. We kind of went to a place called, I believe it's called Glass Cavern. So we went through it. We killed a bunch of uh, scorches. We got to the bottom levels, and there was a scorch beast. Now this scorch beast was kind of bugged and glitched out. It, it was flying through walls, it was attacking us through walls, and it was pretty crazy because it felt like we're fighting like the Martian Manhunter from the Justice League, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just one of them? Holy sh behind you, Pip! Pip! Wait, what? What the f Blast it, man! Blast it! Got, I'm, I'm just freaking picking a weapon! I don't care. It's blasted. It's stuck down here. It's not flying off at the moment. What is it shooting? Come on, baby. No, don't go away. Wow, it goes through go? walls. Beautiful game. Yeah, I, I, it's probably not intentional, but yeah. How, how, how is this possible? Okay, after we managed to kill it, we actually encounter a second Scorch Beast. And this Scorch Beast is as buggy as the first. This is... I think so. Is that Scorch Beast bugged? If it's bugged, we could farm the hell out of this, dude. Yeah, it's bugged. But the thing is, it doesn't drop anything substantial for efforts. How, how would we kill it without you... Without using much resources? Wow. Okay. We don't have much time to shoot it. Uh, what's the cheapest ammo I have? I use shotgun. I have a thousand shotgun ammo. And it was pretty crazy. It was like, how is this possible? How did they have so many like bugs and like? Isn't this like a? Is is no one testing this this game? Like no one's like, well, you know, this is. I don't think uh, Scorch Bees have like, uh, uh, they they could go to walls like a freaking ghost or something. <laughs> you know, it's like, jeez. Okay, it is also unplayable because of the servers. Now, for example, you can spend resources and materials to capture a workstation and you know build uh, generators, build extractors, build some defenses. You know, you 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 spend a good amount of materials doing that. And then, well, let's just say there's a server problem and you disconnect. Well, you lose all your materials, you know, the, the materials you use to build the generators and all that stuff. And you also, if you did not uh, get the, the the stuff that's in the extractor, you also lose that. You know, let's just say you have an extractor that's mining, oh, I don't know, lead and there's 20 lead in there. Well, if you don't pick it up, well, it's gone. And the reason is... Well, you when when you take the workstation, you take it on that one map and that one instance, and then when you disconnect and you try to join again, you try to reconnect, it places you into a different map, a different instance. So when you're getting placed into a different instance, uh, usually that workstation is either claimed by someone else or there's nothing built on it, so you will have to build all the generators and stuff all over again. 
and yeah that's kind of a very very horrible thing because you can't really have any confidence with this game the reason the materials are so essential to this game is because well it's used for everything it's used to build your camp it's used to uh, build gear repair gear and all sorts of things so losing a substantial amount of investment is pretty hurtful for the average player and yeah a lot of people do get frustrated that's, that's one of the reasons why i get frustrated because and and and, and then I, I would just you know what screw it i'll just log off and do something else honestly the class action lawsuit to ask more than a full refund i think that Bethesda should also pay up for the mental anguish and the frustration that it is causing players to have. You know, you have people trashing GameStop and getting a potential mis- um, what, what do you call it? A felony charge? Uh, what's the other one? Um, the one that's not as serious. Miscellaneous charge? Mischievous charge? Well, anyways. Bethesda is trying to do the same thing that uh, Rockstar Gaming and Epic Gaming is doing. However, the only reason why Grand Theft Auto V uh, and uh, Fortnite made so much money from microtransactions is because, well, uh, they made a great game to start with. They made a fantastic game and that's how they get money. Now, right now, Fallout 76 is kind of a very crappy game. It has low reviews, a lot of people don't like it, and we have all these negative uh, press and and, and news coming out for it, a lot of the negative reviews, and yeah, you know, Bethesda's reputation is pretty much destroyed, and it will be extremely hard for them to get it back, and they will be kind of a source of joke for a while. Uh, anyways, uh, Bethesda should make this game kind of free to play uh, and offer everyone a full cash refund, especially if they're going by the microtransaction with the paid mod stuff with, with the at Atomic Shop. They need to do something like that. All I want is a refund. Refund? Refund? Are you crazy? At the moment, I'm trying really, really hard to like the game, and if you guys watched my reaction to the E3 announcement of Fallout 76, I kind of had a very, I don't know, negative attitude back then, and well, it's justified as you can see, and yeah, um, anyways guys, anyways, have you guys uh, tried getting a refund, and how how did it go? Let, let me know in the comment section below, you know, how did your refund process go, if you did refund the game, was it smooth, was there a bunch of burps, did you make threats or whatever, <laughs> I'm just kidding about the threats, but yeah, you can let me know in the comment section below, i like to hear about it. So, and also, you know, feel, feel free to come by my Discord, I have a link in the video description below, and as well as my Patreon if you'd like to help out, and yes indeed, if you like my videos, yes. Anyways, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy and make sure to bang the like and subscribe button, bang it good.